In this video, we are going to use a 3D sketch and a sweep to create cuts like this along a curved surface. Here is a, uh, a simple curved part uh, with a uh, pretty simple cut through it. Uh, here we have a cylinder with a cut that wraps all the way around it a few times. But before we dive into how to make those, I want to take a quick look at a very simple 2D sweep on a surface. Uh, this is just a rectangle extruded up to create a block. And this sweep is just based on two sketches, a 2D sketch on the top surface that is the path, and another 2D sketch on this front face that is the profile we're going to cut. So with those two sketches, uh, we get a sweep that uh, cuts through that top surface. But to get it on a curved surface like this, what we need is a 3D sketch that sticks to that curved surface. So let's start by making a new part. We're going to keep the, uh, the part geometry simple in this case. Start a new part. Create a 2D sketch. Let's draw a rectangle that is the center point rectangle. Uh, two point center around the origin. Let's make it three inches wide and two inches tall. And then we will draw an arc. Let's do a center point arc. The center of this arc is going to be down directly below the origin. Let it kind of snap into place there. Stick it to one side, stick it to the other side. Now let's give it a few dimensions and constraints up from the bottom. Make that Make that one and a half. Same thing on the other side. One and a half, and then we will give it a tangent constraint to stick it to that top surface. I'll see this end point over here didn't stick, so a coincident constraint, get it stuck to the side. Now everything is fully constrained. We can finish this sketch, extrude, get that inner profile. Let's just go out both directions, four inches, and now we have our block to work with. Uh, before we get into creating the 3D sketch, there's a few different ways we can do it, but for this example, we're going to create a 2D sketch that will be used as the basis for the 3D sketch. Uh, come over here to the origin planes. I need the XZ plane. If you sketched yours a little uh, differently to start with, it might be a different plane, but I'm looking for the one that, uh, that cuts through the block uh, horizontally. Click on that XZ plane, come up here, click the Work Plane button. It's anywhere out here in this screen, we click and drag up, and I'm going to put that two inches above that origin plane. I just like to have plenty of room in here so I can see, uh, see the difference between my 2D sketch and then the 3D sketch that is going to end up on this surface. So let's start a 2D sketch on that plane that we created. And let's just draw a few uh, simple lines in here. Come down to this bottom edge and pick up that bottom line. If it doesn't pick it up on your setup of Inventor, come up to Project Geometry and that will let you project that bottom edge to your sketch. I'm going to draw a vertical line. Now on that same point, click and hold and drag to get an arc. Come all the way around till we see that dotted line so I know I'm directly across uh, from the beginning point. Uh, release the button there. We get another line started. Come down to the bottom. Put it on that bottom edge. Let's put a vertical constraint to get the center point of that arc directly over the origin. Give that a dimension two and a half. Dimension between these two legs. Make that two inches. Now everything has turned black. We are fully constrained. And we can finish this 2D sketch. Let's spin around here and look at uh, look at this end of it. This is sort of my, my starting area. Uh, but now I need a 3D sketch. And I'm going to take the 2D geometry that we created and project it to this top surface. To do that, we use the Project to Surface command up here. Click Project to Surface. It wants faces first. The face I'm going to project to is just one face in this situation just that top face, and now I need my curve. So I click one, two, 
three curves. We have a few options here, uh, but let's just stick with project a long vector. When I use this um, feature, it uh, by default is going to go straight down along this arrow, the vector that is perpendicular to or normal to that sketch plane. It's going to go straight down to the surface of the part. So let's hit apply, cancel that to close it out, and we see we have this curve on our surface. If I go to the top view and look directly at it, my original sketch completely covers up that new sketch. So now I can finish this 3D sketch. Let's make the work plane invisible, make that 2D sketch invisible. So now I just have that curve on that surface. So to be able to create the sweep to get that cut out, I need another sketch, 2D sketch, on this front face. I can right click on it and say new sketch. Or if I go here, I have to go back and say start 2D sketch. Now I need to create a circle on either endpoint here. If I come here, let's see, it is not picking up that endpoint. So I project geometry and I get that endpoint turns green there. That gives me a place to start the circle. Let's make it 375 diameter. Hit enter. It has turned black. It is fully constrained. It's located on that point. It has a diameter. We are good there. Finish this sketch. And now when we sweep, our closed profile is automatically selected for us. It is ready to select a curve or edge. So when we select that curve, it shows our preview. We are set to cut. Uh, if you uh, happen to be on this, one of these other options, it will not uh, give you that preview right away. Be sure you are on this first option, which is simply following that path. Uh, we'll get into uh, the other options later on. Uh, zero taper, zero twist, fun things we can do with those that we will get into another time. Uh, but for now, we just say OK, and we have a cut through a curved surface. Uh, let's move on now to this cylinder. Very similar operation, but this time we have a path uh, that wraps all the way around that cylinder. Let's just back up right here to the basic cylinder. Now we won't go through all the steps. You draw a circle, finish the sketch, extrude. In this case, it is a four inch long cylinder with a two inch diameter. And now to get that curve, Again, to get that shape wrapped all the way around, we're going to start with a 2D sketch that we then turn into a 3D sketch. So let's go here to our origin. Uh, let's use the YZ plane again, hit plane here. And if we come off to the side and touch that surface, it will create a plane that is tangent to that side. So now if we click on this plane, start a 2D sketch here. Uh, now we have our origin point down here where we started our part to begin with, and that will give us somewhere to work from uh, to start this 2D sketch. From here, I'm just going to draw a little short line out. Uh, back on that endpoint, click and hold and drag out to create an arc. Let's come along here and create a line at an angle. See when that little tangent icon pops up, that says we are tangent to our first arc. I'm back on this endpoint, click and drag out another arc till we get that little vertical constraint indicator back to that center point, and now drag out to the right to get a horizontal line. If you need to see the constraints, hit the F8 button. We are tangent here, we are tangent here. That line is parallel to my starting line, and my starting line has a horizontal constraint on it. Let's throw one constraint on here to ensure that this endpoint is in line with that end face of the cylinder. Say OK to that. Let's add a few dimensions. Make that 250. Make this in line 250 as well. Make the arc a half inch. Make that arc a half inch. 
And all that is left, look at what we can do. We can drag everything up and down and change that angle. Or another way to look at it is changing the distance between these two lines. So let's put a dimension on there. Let's start with 9 inches. We can play with that a little bit and uh, see what happens as we change that dimension. Uh, but now we have a fully constrained sketch that we can finish that sketch. As before, I want to now go to a 3D sketch. And I'm going to again project to surface. Faces again. Select my curved face. The curves that I want. Curves or anything in a sketch. A straight line, a curve, a spline. Uh, they all count as curves for these purposes. Go along and click everything that we want to use. And now we're going to use this last option. That is Wrap to Surface. We click Wrap to Surface. Say Apply. Cancel that to close it out. And we can see we have that spiral wrapped around our cylinder. Finish that sketch. We can make the work plane invisible. We can make that 2D sketch invisible. So all we see now is this yellow line wrapped around our cylinder. Let's now make a new sketch on the bottom. Try to keep up with where that point goes when you start your new sketch. Project geometry to get that endpoint to give us a place to start this circle. We'll make this one 375 as well. It is black. It's fully constrained. Finish that sketch. And now we are ready to sweep. Again, automatically selects it because it's just a single closed profile. Select curve or edge. And we get a cut. Make sure you have that cut option selected. And we see it wrapping around. We see the preview. That looks good. Close that out. And we have our spiral cut through that cylinder. The original that we were working on had more cuts around here, and I got that simply by changing this dimension in my original part. I can make it as big as I want. Let's make it 15 inches, and that just gives me more wraps around the part. Go back and edit that sketch again. 21 inches, keep going. Get more and more wraps around that part. There you have a simple introduction to using a 3D sketch to create a sweep on a curved surface. There's definitely a lot more that we can get into, uh, but that's the basics. That's what you need to start with. Uh, get some practice doing that, and then uh, come back later, and I continue to make more of these videos and post more complex uh, sweeps on more complex surfaces.